a gold guide to Swain. Swain is a battle mage similar to champs like Silas and he has relatively short range but is made up for with large amounts of healing and damage. He is primarily played in two lanes, support and AP carry, although he can be flexed into both the solo lanes. Please don't play him jungle. Swain has two parts to his passive, the souls and the pool. Every time an enemy is killed, they drop a soul, which Swain can walk nearby to collect. They grant him a small amount of bonus HP. Swain can also pull nearby CC targets, ripping a soul out of them. Swain's Q shoots out multiple short-range death lasers out of his hand, which can hit all enemies in its path. It's shaped like a cone, and enemies struck by multiple bolts take more damage. Swain's W is a long-range, and I mean very long-range, attack that creates a circle at a targeted location, dealing damage, slowing, and revealing a target, as well as granting Swain a soul. Swain's is a projectile that deals damage to all enemies in its path and then it comes back exploding on the first target hit which damages and roots all nearby enemies. R transforms into a giant demon bird thing that doubles the bonus HP from his passive. He emits a damaging aura and heals for every target hit by it. After a couple of seconds or upon recasting he explodes damaging all targets in range and healing for a portion of the damage dealt. The main combo for him is E then W while rooted and then pulling at the last second. This guarantees two soul fragments from a target and also half their health. Your ult is the main team fighting ability for Swain as it can often win fights by itself. It produces so much damage and healing as well as applying debuffs for, from items to the majority of the enemy team. He runs two main runes, Electrocute and Conqueror. Electrocute gives burst and allows for large amounts of early game pressure which can snowball into a massive lead. It can also be proxed very easily from a simple E, pull, auto attack. You can swap this out for Dark Harvest which is stronger late game and allows you to have better snipes. Cheap Shot is good as it applies the true damage on the pull and if enemies affected by W. You can go either Eyeball Collection or Zombie Ward, depending if you want Snowballing or Vision. And then you have to go Ultimate Hunter on the final page. Swain is almost completely dependent on his ultimate, as it needs to have the shortest cooldown possible. Ravis Hunter is also only 33% effective on all of his abilities, as all of them are either AoE or damage over time. With Domination in a primary page, you want to go Inspiration second. I recommend going Perfect Timing and Biscuit Delivery, as this solves your mana issues early game and also gives you a free stopwatch which Swain synergizes super well with. Conqueror allows better team fighting ability as it heals and gives stacking AP. It makes him a team fighting beast but lacks the burst that Letchute gives. Presence of mind helps a lot with mana issues throughout the game and it means you have to less back less often for resources. You basically have to bring Legend Tenacity as your autos literally tickle them. Um, both Last Stand and Coup de Grasse are good, however Last Stand makes your ult even more deadly and it deals bonus damage to all enemies affected. In your secondary runes, I would go Cheap Shot or Eyeball Collection with Ultimate Hunter, as you need the Alt CDR. Swain has a large variety of items he can run. All three AP Mana Mythics are very good, as they all have their own advantages. The main item everyone builds is Leandrews, as it procs a max health burn to all enemies affected by the ult, and is constantly reapplied. Ludens has the passive cooldown lowered for each tick of your ult, and it also gives bonus magic pen, so all your abilities do basic 2 damage to the enemy ADC. Everfrost gives a free route, which means you're allowed to chain CC a target, as well as giving more healing potential for your carry. You can also spec in Riftmaker if needed, which grants an insane amount of healing, but it also takes longer for him to scale and he just lacks the mana that is required. Swain uses both Sorks and Defensive Boots very well, so you can buy whichever one to suit your need. A core item on Swain is Zonya's Hourglass. He can use it mid ult and damage all nearby enemy targets, as well as healing during the stasis. Afterwards, you can spec into these items depending on your enemy comp as well as really building any other AP item. A typical Swain support build would look like this. I hope you enjoyed this and make sure you do like and subscribe if you want and yeah I hope you enjoyed.